These troops are in Somalia fighting the militia group Al-Shabaab, but they are not being compensated for it. Several groups of Ugandan troops in Somalia have completed their terms of operation and returned home without receiving allowances. The peacekeeping mission depends on donations from multiple sources, including the EU, the US, and the United Nations. And these donations don't come at the same time. Some countries, some donors delay, some others bring their money in time, but the African Union has to make sure that all of the money is consolidated and passed on to the troop contributing countries to eventually reach uh, the troops. The peacekeepers are on a mission for at least a year before they return, and another group is deployed. It's reported that all Ugandan soldiers have gone without pay for up to 27 months over the course of the past five years. Experts say the payment procedures are complicated and this could be causing the delays. But they warn this may impact the morale and performance of the soldiers. Many of them have sent home money home. Many of them have, have now even built homes. Many of them have sent money and their women have started businesses. So if you starve them in an area where, they are, where their lives are in, uh, on the line, then becomes a problem. And definitely, it may have an effect on the, on the operations and their performance. Uganda says it's only responsible for administrative costs, which include combat uniforms and training of troops before they are deployed. Each soldier on mission earns about $1,000 per month in allowances. The soldiers also continue earning their salaries back home. The Ugandan army says its troops are aware of the delays in allowances. We focus our soldiers to go to serve as Africans, saving their African brothers. We don't tell them that they are going there to earn a living. No, our focus is not on money, much as it is needed, but our soldiers are well grounded on the ideological concepts that we give them when they are going to Somalia. Uganda was the first country to send troops to Somalia in 2007 and has the biggest number of forces there. About 5,000 soldiers are supporting the fight against the militant group Al-Shabaab. The military operations have helped recover major towns in Somalia, though Al-Shabaab still controls swaths of territory. Other countries contributing troops include Djibouti, Kenya, Ethiopia and Burundi. Their soldiers are also battling delays to allowances, causing frustrations across the peacekeeping mission. Isabel Nakiria, CGTN Kampala, Uganda.